And again, Christians, get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good, you're not going to have to vote. I don't even know where's the media on this. Hi, welcome to Street Politics. My name is Reese Waters. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the page. Now, after a whirlwind first week, I was curious just to see exactly how Trump was going to respond. Because we've seen how the people have responded. She doesn't have to go out there and sell sneakers or Bibles, you know? All she did was announce that she's running, and they said, where do we sign up? And I think she's going to give Trump what he needs. He ain't ready for this one. The level of energy is higher, and we just got to keep this up. We only have 100 days left. We can run through the finish line. Don't slow down, but keep going. And let me tell you, I was disappointed. Uh, well, no, I can't say disappointed. Um, I was disappointed, but not surprised. It's kind of like watching Best Man Holiday. Yeah, or or any of the or any of the blackbusters. I was I was disappointed, but but not surprised. Let's start with this one, which didn't get nearly the play that it should have. And again, Christians get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years. You know what? It'll be fixed. It'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good, you're not going to have to vote. Now, let's put to the side the moment of whether he said, I'm not a Christian, because we all know the kind of Christian that Trump is. Trump is the kind of Christian who comes in at the end of service and dedicates his life to the Lord like every three weeks. But you see them every day in between those three week periods just on the block. He is he is that kind of Christian, except his three week period is every four years. So every four years he comes at the end of service to dedicate his life and then he's on the block every day of the other four years. We know that. Put that to the side for a moment. The man said, you won't have to vote anymore. We're going to get it fixed. And I need to know, where is the media on this? I need to know, where is the media on this? Because when he said the thing about bloodbath, they went absolutely crazy. But the man can say, you won't have to vote again. And I hear nary a peep. This is the problem I have. They are treating Trump like he is senile, like he can just say whatever he wants to say and you don't take it seriously, but you don't call him senile. You was calling Biden senile. So Biden was a senile one, but Trump just gets to say nonsense and you don't take it seriously. Is that where we're at? Because I think we're at the part where he's saying the quiet part out loud. A criminal is a criminal and they generally stay a criminal and we don't have time to figure it out. That's right, a criminal is a criminal. They generally stay a criminal. Which, by the way, might be the most honest thing that Donald Trump has ever said. Certainly it is since 2016. I want to be nice. They all say, I think he's changed. I think he's changed since two weeks ago. Something affected him. No, I haven't changed. Maybe I've gotten worse, actually, because I get angry. He ain't lying. He ain't lying at all. He he liked the player at the at the end of his career where he just realized he don't he don't really need the media and he just start telling you exactly how he feels. I, we have seen it. We've seen it many times. Kobe, not to twist your words or read too much into what you said, but being around young players energized you. That's not a statement about maybe you'd like to see some young players on your team. Wow. That, <laughs> you know what? That's a Bikram yoga stretch. <laughs> you stretched the hell out of it. Good job. Good job. I'm not even going to answer that. That's just silly. 
Next. And like I said, and going back to Whitlock, I don't think he can comment on anything but snacks. He is in, he's in that phase. He has just lost all reservation. He is backing out of the driveway without looking both ways. He just telling you like it is. Remember that, all that pretense about fake reaching out to the black community? Yeah, well, this is what he has to say now. That we're going to give immunity to police so they can do their job. I'm giving federal immunity to police officers so they can do their job. Now, he has said that before, but this time he said it in the wake of Sonia Massey. By the way, I did a whole video about that. The link is in the description. In said video, I opened up the possibility that he might have, if it was really real, him trying to court black voters, he might want to take a different tact. Did, did Trump tweet about Sonia Massey? Does, does, his, does his true social account work? Oh, oh wait, it does, because he saw fit to post this. Oh yeah, yeah, he had time to post this, but he didn't have time to post about Sonya Massey. That's weird. I would say that's weird, you know, for somebody that obviously is is receiving so much love from the black community to to further entrench himself um, that he wouldn't have posted that because 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 he surely finds way to exploit other crimes. I mean, let this have been a migrant, but this is where he decides to go, doubling down on where we knew he always lived. Even Cardi B knew this was a bad idea. And by the way, just let me take a tangent right here about Kamala Harris's record, because I've seen a lot of people out there tweeting various things about her locking up the homies and this, that, and other thing for weed offenses. Um, <clears throat> you act as if Kamala Harris is running against somebody who doesn't have a record of his own. The man has a record of his own that we can look into, not to mention the fact that only one of these candidates has acknowledged systemic racism and the reason for wholesale needed changes with regards to our criminal justice system. So why would that be more relevant than his record and his assertion that he wants to give police immunity. It baffles the mind that somebody would hold them accountable for something that happened years ago, which has been debunked, but not the things that have happened right in front of their face in the past couple of years. It's almost as if this isn't being done in good faith. Now, we have seen all of the fake AI-generated videos of Trump with black people. We've seen all of the fake photo ops of him with black people. We saw the black church that was filled with white people. We have seen a lot of fakery when it comes to Trump and black people, it stands to reason that would still be the case. I believe that we're back here again. So let me preface what I'm about to say with this disclaimer. As an individual, you have a right to say whatever it is that you say and have an opinion on it. That doesn't mean you are not free from consequences or challenges. You have a right to sound as stupid as you want to be. So why do I say that? Entertainers have a right to comment on politics, and as long as I can remember, entertainers have been involved in politics in this country, especially black entertainers. Now, now, let me just say this. We don't have many Harry Belafontes and Lena Horns in 2024. Unfortunately, we have people like Sexy Red, and now... We got somebody like Sway Lee. I don't know this person. Don't know a single song. But apparently Sway Lee wants you to not vote for Kamala Harris because she's black 
or we think she's black. Sway Lee has 3.7 million followers on TikTok, 12.1 million followers on Instagram, and 905 followers on Twitter. So he has influence of some sort. But what 31-year-old Sway Lee lacks is the good sense that God gave him. Sir, you are not equipped to have the conversation that is being had by millions of people who are going beyond Kamala Harris's skin color. The fact that you are struggling between the differences of race, ethnicity, and nationality at this moment tells me you are not equipped to have a conversation about politics. I say this to say, to the people who are registered to vote, who are getting registered to vote, who are picking the politician to represent them, whether it's in Congress with the 435 seats up in the House, the 33 seats up in the Senate, or the President, don't y'all listen to people who don't understand the functions of the three branches of government. Pay attention to the people who know what they're talking about, as well as reading further. That's it, that's all. But oh yeah, Donald Trump treats us like we're real people though, right? Ilhan Omar. Now she went to a speech when I was running. When I was first running, and I, I, you know, in all fairness, I never did this stuff before I'm running. And, and this lunatic was in the audience. She started screaming. I said, who the hell is that? And it's the same crazy person that I watch every night. She's nuts. And she gets reelected by not a lot, but she gets reelected. How do you have people like that? I'm telling you, I was making a speech. And we had a lot of people, and she was like there someplace. And she got up and started screaming. I said, that woman is insane. She's crazy. And you know what? She's become like a major voice in Congress. Can you believe it? Now, first of all, um, why are you watching her every night? Huh? Because for most people, that would be just a slip of the tongue. But, but you are a felon with very specific kinds of allegations. Second of all, that's the wrong brown person. Yeah, that's the wrong brown person. Yeah, it was it was Michigan Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib who was kicked out of a rally in 2016. You guys are crazy! You're an animal! Get a job! And by the way, she did get a job. This man done lost it. This man done lost it. He just, you know, this wasn't even as bad as when he was calling Obama the president back when, when, when he was still running against Biden. This would be like contesting the 2008 election and saying that I don't think Michael Irvin ever should have been able to run for president. No, 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 abs absolutely not. It's really, no, because Al B. Shore was not born in this country. LeVar Burton should have been impeached. I want the United States to be first in technology, first in science, first in manufacturing, first in artificial intelligence, and first in space. You know, at MIT, my uncle was a professor there, Dr. John Trump. He would have fit in with this room very nicely, actually. That's why I mention it. And I believe he was the longest serving professor in the history of MIT. He graduated. We have a very intelligent family, actually. He graduated tremendously, I think he is. Graduated tremendously. He, <laughs> he graduated tremendously. Um, has, has we have a very, very smart family ever been said? Have, have those words ever been uttered out of the mouth of a member of a very smart family? I'm just curious. I don't, I don't know that I've ever heard that out of the mouth of somebody who comes from a very smart family. All right, keep going. But we will be creating so much electricity that you'll be saying, please, please, President, we don't want any more electricity. We can't stand it. You'll be begging me, no more electricity, sir. We have enough, we have enough. Are you okay? What, what does too much electricity looks like? Cause, cause it sounds like being electrocuted. Like it, it sounds like an unsafe situation. I don't know that too much electricity is anything that anybody asked for 
or can maintain or sustain? What are the ways in which you're going to provide this excess of electricity? Huh? You just you just turn it on. Yeah, it's, it, it, I guess that's that's I'm sure that's as much as you understand and know about electricity. I'm also curious. You seem to have reached the Mad Libs portion of your career. You just plug and play the topic and just say the exact same thing about it. You know, at least he got through without acknowledging the right wing trolls, you know, like like the one who called Sheila Jackson Lee a ghetto B after she died and made fun of Biden's dead ex-wife. The great Laura Loomer, some of you know Laura, she's a fantastic person, great woman, and a tremendous developer from New York and Florida. Bro, I don't know where you go from here, man. I don't know where you go, like, maybe the border? Kamala Harris knows what she needs to do. I was there. I gave her all of the policies that she needed, all of them, and she refused to implement them. She does not care about you. She does not care about the safety of this country. He does. However, there's just one problem with the border attacks. I know you're not trying to zing your colleagues, but it's your colleagues in your party, sir, who torpedoed this, who, 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 who didn't get the facts right on what you just outlined was in that measure. They killed it. Ironically, not Democrats. Right. It, it was, and it was painful to be able to watch it. It got stirred up in all the presidential politics, and several of my colleagues started looking for ways. Uh, after President Trump said, don't fix anything uh, right. during the presidential election, it's the single biggest issue during the election, don't resolve this, we'll resolve it next year. Quite a few of my colleagues backed up, looked for a reason to be able to shoot against it, and then walked away. I get that. That's a, that's a decision everybody makes in it. My issue is, we can, if we're pursuing everything, we very often end up with nothing. If we're pursuing someone coming later to fix it, later seems to never come when we have a moment to fix things we should fix as many things as we can then then come back later and fix the rest that's on donald trump senator the former uh, president had sort of mixed views on it we all felt that border was a complete disaster myself included and chad you remember covering the phases we went through first there was an effort to make law which requires you to deal with democrats and then a number of our members thought it wasn't good enough. And then our nominee for president didn't seem to want us to do anything at all. That took months. And all these videos are on the record. And believe me, it's going to get a whole lot worse when Kamala names a VP. These are, these are weird people on the other side. They want to take books away. They want to be in your exam room. That's, that's what it comes down to. And don't, you know, get sugarcoating this. These are weird ideas. Listen to them speak. Listen to how they talk about things. Listen to how your previous guests were right. Like you said, they've told them that they shouldn't talk about race. They can't help it. It is built into their DNA because there yeah. is no plan. There's no health care plan. There's no health care plan. There's nothing to do on this. They want to take away our alliances and leave Russia to do whatever they want. Look, they are bad on foreign policy. They are bad on the environment. They certainly have no health care plan. And they keep talking about the middle class that, as I said, a robber baron real estate guy and a venture capitalist trying to tell us they understand yeah. who we are. They don't know who we are. I, I want to be nice. They all say, I think he's changed. I think he's changed since two weeks ago. Something affected him. No, I haven't changed. Maybe I've gotten worse, actually. See, it's not that you're worse. You just don't have an actual case against Kamala Harris unless it's racism or sexism, do you? You don't actually have the ability to run on anything other than racism or sexism. In fact, that's a good idea for a video. I think I'm gonna make it. Sincere thanks to everybody who's reached out to me and submitted suggestions for videos, keep them coming. Uh, I take submissions for ideas for a video, suggestions for racist of the week. If you have something that just troubles you or you just wanna send me a note because I love getting those notes, go ahead and shoot me an email at reese at reesewaters.com. Dot com. I also have a newsletter that I send out periodically, so you'll be receiving that as well. You can also sign up on my website, ReeseWaters.com. Mm -hmm.